This is how I avoid drinking too much coffee. Mm -hmm. And it is my arm extension trick, bag of tricks. So we're gonna do all of the arm extensions, okay. um, including some that even Gabby is not that comfortable with. Um, so we'll break it down for you and um, see what you can um, get with today. So the first one is really easy and awesome. It's called um, arms over your head. So you just breathe in, bring your arms over your head. This is Hastasana. It's a yoga pose. It brings your um, arms against the flow of gravity that they're normally at. So if you bring them down, you can even probably just from those few breaths feel a little, mm -hmm. a little a action tingle. in your arms, a little yeah. tingle. So that you can do at any time. You can mm -hmm. do that in the middle of a meeting if you want to look really eager. Me, call on me, me, me. I um, do that sometimes, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you love raising your hand. Former <laughs> teachers, it's always the case. Yeah. So another arm extension that you can do will um, encourage that stretching all the way through your back and even your hamstrings. And it's just a gentle forward bend. And you can even use um, like a chair or the wall to forward bend and hold and have that, um, have that support. But you can just reach over and you're gonna extend your arms and that brings the stretch from your shoulders because you're helping your shoulders both strengthen and stretch here and then brings it down to the lower back and hamstrings. So coming on up, now we'll put some weight on those arms. Okay. And so as Gabby knows from her fitness classes, mm. plank is a fantastic arm extension and workout. Gabby, what are some of, i put you on the spot, what are some benefits of plank? Um, you get a stronger core, and actually stronger core isn't just nice to look at, Susan. Mm -hmm. um, it helps you in your everyday life and doing everything when you move around and in any exercise class or exercise you might want to go to. Yeah. Super important. Super right, important. and for back pain. I know so many oh. people. I'm way older than you. I know so many people with back pain. Susan, I <laughs> used to have back pain. <laughs> but you're right, the cure. It's just abdominal work, yeah. simply. Yeah. Stronger core. So we're, d we're doing it, holding it in this plank for a long time. You can always do plank with knees down, and that still is an arm extension. You're still holding weight. Um, you can also, let's show them some variations while okay. we're here. Do... Um, What's this called? Sphinx? Um, Sphinx or just low plank, yeah. yeah low forearm plank, plank. plank. Um, so another great arm extension. But the one that I really want to get to, my favorite. All right, let's do it. Is half handstand. So um, with reason, lots of people are um, duly nervous about going up into handstand. And you should be, because you could fall on your face. I have fallen on my face. <laughs> we're not going to today. We're no. not doing that today. What we're gonna do is a fantastic prep though for handstand. And what okay. it does is both strengthen your shoulders and arms and it gets your body in the feel mm. of having your butt over your hands, mm. which is a really different feeling. It's tough, I'm excited. Yeah, so all you do to do a half handstand is you have to measure one straight leg length away from the wall. So you do that by standing, kind of like where you think it might be, straightening your leg and measuring one leg length away from the wall. This so is you're a stretch for me already. Oh, right, well this is multi-layered multi, multi -layered then. And look at where your standing leg yeah. is because where your foot is now, this is super clean, you're gonna put your hands and where your foot is on the wall, that's where your feet are gonna go, both okay. of them. So you basically just put your hands down where your feet were and you're gonna slowly walk your feet up the wall. So until they get to where your feet were, which is roughly, you're going to make a box, Gabby. So you oh, want, you're not doing definitely a push Definitely not shape. a box. You want to get your there we go. feet down. Nope. Your hands in so that your butt goes over your, your hands, which is a <sighs> weird feeling. You have to bring your hands further, further in. <laughs> so, well, there you go. Now straighten your legs. Does that feel weird? Uh, very much. Yeah, it should. Woo! Because that's half handstand. If your legs were all the way up here, it would be full handstand. Oh my goodness. But we're not doing that today. Woo! And so that's a good arm workout, right? That's a very tough workout. I'm sweating. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's great. It brings all the blood to your head. That's mm -hmm. why I say it's better than coffee. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to quit coffee this week because of spring allergies and boosting my immune system. Incredible. So I'm doing a lot of half handstands <laughs> to replace the jolts that I normally get from from caffeine, mm -hmm. but I think it's better this way. Okay, all so right, I'll trust you. Those are the arm extensions for today, and hopefully you did not fall on your face during half handstand. You can work up to full handstand, and I'm so proud of you, Gabby, for Thank trying you. something new. It was tough. You. <laughs> nice job. All right, tune in another video. We'll teach you some more cool stuff.